Hello my friends. I just finished a, uh, a little video with my wife. A lot of people have said, we want to see your wife in the videos. We want to see, we want to see more of Glory in the videos. And uh, I would too. But you know, over the years I've learned that what she doesn't want to do, she doesn't want to do. And to try to make her do something she doesn't want to do. I almost didn't put up this video after looking at it because, quite frankly, she just looks miserable. It looks like she's sitting on a hot stove. You know, and I can't say, honey, pretend like you're happy. I told you I don't want to. <laughs> I told you I don't like to be uh, on a, in a video. I know, it's obvious. So, just a little warning. She is not, does not feel comfortable being interviewed in any camera. And uh, I cut out the first part where I said, okay, now look right into the lens there, because that's where the people are watching you. She started off that way, then she kind of went down. And, and as I'm talking, she's looking around and uh, yawning. And at one point I say, Oh, are you bored? And she says, yeah, hurry up. <laughs> oh, but I'm gonna go ahead and put up the video anyway. She is who she is, and I love her just the way she is. So, just a little warning, she, she's not mad. Um, she just doesn't feel comfortable in front of the camera. So, I. Since I have had a lot of people asking about her in a video and about her family and more about her children, I thought I would just do this video. It's kind of long. I think I'm going to have to do it in two parts. So part one and part two. Hi everybody. Hello everybody. My name's Bud Brown and this is my lovely wife. Gloria Brown. Gloria Brown. You know, we uh, we started a new channel called Bud Brown Live and uh, I was looking at the statistics and it, these days we've been getting a lot of subscribers uh, that have come over because they saw our love story on Magpaka Ilanman. Uh, and so they came over to the channel and uh, wanted to see how we were doing, I guess. So we were newlyweds at that time. And I noticed that uh, on YouTube, it gives you uh, statistics on different things. And one of them was uh, people were, or wh what they were looking for. And several of them, uh, one of the most common things people were looking for was the phrase Bud Brown Bud and Gloria Brown's children. So I thought, well maybe we should do something about our children. We really haven't done much. So uh, bottom line is we're very, very happy with our children, right? Yep. They're good kids. Good kids. Of course they're uh, adults now. Our uh, daughter is 42 and our son is 41. We've had two marriages. Now in the movie, uh, well I think it showed both of them, uh, because I wanted to marry her and I had made a decision to marry her, um, where I was stationed in uh, San Miguel, Zambales, the province of Zambales, we were not allowed, the sailors were not allowed to have a serious relationship with the so-called natives or the locals. So I thought it would be easier for me to send, her, send for her if we got married I mean, sent for her as my wife rather than as my fiance. So we um, 
contacted a judge, Judge Abad, Abad and he married us in, uh, uh, was it his, his place or your no, friend's? Uh, my uh, mama's son. Our landlord's place. And so it was him and me and Gloria and your friend, I think, was there. Uh -huh. So I couldn't tell anybody. You know, I felt like um, Clark Kent. I was so proud to be married, but I couldn't tell anybody I was married. Couldn't wear my ring uh, and just had to pretend like we were just boyfriend and girlfriend. But anyway, so we got married and then a uh, few months later, I had to, well, my contract was up. I was in the Navy four years. And so I got out and I sent for her. And there was a part in the movie about she had trouble getting in, uh, getting a visa. But anyway, it worked out. She came over and uh, I have to confess that really in the first few years of our marriage, it was not perfect. so easy. Huh? Well, not perfect. It was not perfect. Um, one thing, she wasn't used to the money situation, and so we had a lot of financial problems uh, because she couldn't quite get the idea that if you get a loan, you have to pay it back. And it just so happens that in the States, because I had good credit, it was very easy for us to get a loan. And she, as my wife, had to get along. So that was rough. And uh, she thought that uh, she could get uh, credit at, you know, jewelry stores, right? Yep. And uh, different places. But finally, after a few years, we did uh, get our financial uh, situation straightened out. But I want to talk a little bit about our children. Unlike a lot of newlyweds, we didn't want to have children right away. So we actually waited five years. We waited about five years. Mm -hmm. um, she did get pregnant, and this is kind of a tough part to talk about. But the very first pregnancy, we were so excited about it. You were five months pregnant. Mm, six months. Six months? Mm -hmm. Almost a good month. And uh, the doctor said that the heartbeat of the baby stopped, the fetus. So we didn't know what was going on. I mean, she, she uh, didn't do anything bad as far as her physical health. And so it was just a mystery. So when they, we went to the doctor, and you can imagine five, six months pregnant, I mean, you're getting pretty big at that time. And then suddenly no heartbeat. So we went and uh, they said that uh, the fetus was no longer living. So that was tough. They had to do what's called a DNC. So, uh, I mean, they had to take out the fetus that was no longer living. So I don't like to talk more about that. But uh, so we waited another year. We weren't sure that we would be able to have any more children, right? Didn't they mm -hmm. say something about maybe? Probably not. Yeah. Probably not have any more children. But anyway, we waited another year and then we tried uh, to uh, try for her to get pregnant again. And lo and behold, she got pregnant again. We and almost lost it. Yeah, so she had to just be very, very careful and it was a baby girl, and her name was Tammy. Mm -hmm. So Tammy was our firstborn, and um, it's very interesting when she, uh, at that time, uh, Filipino-American marriages wasn't that common. So uh, we, we call those days, and the older ones will understand this, the young ones may not understand it, but we, we call that the John and Yoko days. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
John and Yoko was... Uh, Yoko Ono? Yeah. Uh, John Lennon and Yoko Ono, they, he was in the band The Beatles, and uh, they, she was Japanese, though. But it was a mixed-race marriage, and uh, anyway, that was popular at that time. So, um, when Tammy was born, she, uh, she was just a beautiful child. Now, you know something else I just remembered? Uh, she had these that looked like bruises on her ankles her wrist, and I think the small of her back. Mm -hmm. And yep. the doctor said that was very common. Birthmark dead. Well, it was like a birthmark, but I think it went away. Probably, I'm not sure. Yeah, it looked like a bruise, but this, the doctor said, oh, nothing to worry about, it's common in, in uh, Filipino-American marriages, so I don't know about that. But, uh, she was a, a beautiful child, and when she went to kindergarten, um, I remember she came home and said, Dad, am I white? And I said, Tammy, if anybody asks you, just say, your dad's an American and your mom is Filipino. And that will answer the question. So. And another time when she came home from school, oh, I guess maybe first, second, or third grade, she would say, Dad, the, uh, everybody uh, thinks that I'm wearing nylons. What's nylons? Because her legs were very tan and smooth, so they were pinching her legs. I don't know if you remember that or not, but yeah. they, um, they thought that she was wearing nylons to make her legs so smooth and tan. But uh, a year after Tammy was born, uh, we waited a little while, and then our next child was born, uh, I think about a year and a half later. They're about a year and a half apart. Yeah. Yeah. And it was a boy, and his name was Andrew. So uh, it was just perfect. We wanted a boy and a girl. Of course, any parent, as long as their child is healthy, that's the main thing. But we wanted a boy and a girl. We would like to have a boy and a girl, which we did. 